This is the reason why you should not live in a double story house owned by your girlfriend even though she's not charging you rent. Now before we go to the drawing board, I want to tell you that this story has a lot of morals. But the morals I want you to take back is that you should always buy your own home, obtain your own mortgage, first time buyers. Now I want to warn the viewers of this video, this story has a bit of gruesome facts. It's sort of like the Abbey Choi of New South Wales with a sprinkle of Islander tarot and a splash of look lum, which is Vietnamese fish sauce, and a few missing teeth. So we've got the protagonist here, which is uh, Peter Wong, and then we have Angel Bowyer. Now, once upon a time, our protagonist Peter has been living in Angel Baby's house, which is a double-story house in Smithfield, and this is his baby mama's place. And based on my wild speculative opinion and this bias video, he's not paying any rent. Because apparently Peter's baby mama used to be this, before and after. She's an influencer. She apparently lost 23 kilos and after that, she like, honey, I do the Instagram now. So basically seven days ago, while these guys are snoozing, around 5.20 a.m., we have these mass assailants. About five to six alleged Islander men, big Islander muscly men with a uh, ski mask and they had like axe, sledgehammers and obviously we can't forget to mention that one hand's holding the axe or sledgehammer and obviously the other hand is holding a slow cooked taro which they eat over here and that obviously gives them pop eye power and then with their powers combined they drag Peter's ass from the Smithfield double story house to a property in Belmore, Canterbury Road now this is a picture of the Belmore house which Peter got himself kidnapped for six days. Now you might be wondering how did the police find this house so quickly? Well if you notice these plants, they are tarot plants. So obviously through common sense it can't be a Chinese house or a Vietnamese house or a Aleppo house. Now in this house old mate here Peter got himself nearly Abby Choid. What do I mean by that? Well the text message that was sent to uh, Angel Baby is that we want a price of five million dollars. Uh, if not we'll cut your boy up bit by bit. Now Team Taro wants 5 milli because Angel Baby is not only a fitness influencer, she's also a crypto trader and her cousin Tran Din is also a property developer which is this person over here. Now the good news is about a day ago the pole pole got involved and rescued Mr. Peter and the good news is he's alive. Yes, missing a few teeths but at least he's free. So as a viewer of this video, what lessons can you draw from this? Well, first of all, if old mate Peter, like all my clients that utilize all the government's incentives and bought his own property as a first home buyer, he wouldn't need to live in that double store house with his influencer girlfriend. And just like Back to the Future, seven days ago, Team Taro, when they went to, you know, ransom somebody, he wouldn't be there because he'll be in his own home. And lesson number two is, just because your brother-in-law, which is baby mama's brother, trains at elite force in Sefton, doesn't mean you're bulletproof, bro. That your your brother-in-law is not Ryu. Apparently his brother-in-law was in the house that day uh, and tried to defend them. Then you have one Ryu versus like six E-Hondas. Bro, how many Hadoukens can you do? I mean like, Islanders are the most friendliest and calmest people I know, but when you pee them off, man, run for your life look aside from the minor morals of this story which is don't do drugs don't do underbelly stuff or any relation to underbelly and to quote russell peters be a man don't rely on your girl the main lesson is buy your own place mate because old mate peter here if he bought his own house for example 650k to qualify for no stamp duty in smithfield it'll be a shitey unit and this old looking unit would have like no lifts it will have like a lot of stairs when team taro comes you know you reckon E-Hondas will walk up the stairs to get this guy? Come on bro, common sense. But if you live here, it's like a walk in the park to grab you. Obviously, I feel sorry for him. My heart goes out for him and his family and his girlfriend. Really sorry. But there's always a silver lining to every story. So hopefully this story, you know, inspires you to buy your first home. And jump in the comments. Either roast me or toast me. Love to read your comments.